everybody welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me i don't exactly know what's being picked up in the frame so i don't know if you can see any of kiara she got spayed on friday and i'm recording this on monday so she is uh she's feeling well cuddly she's feeling cuddly okay you're gonna curl up there with your claws in for balance that's good good smart smart choice Ooh, hi daughter hi um she um she's a very adventurous i mean she's a kitten so well you're turning a year old this month but uh she's very i'm gonna do everything and i'm invincible even when she didn't have the pain meds in so we have like demolished my library literally aside from my bookcases taken everything out and this has just kind of become her nursery where uh, she can be a little little roughhouser but I am <laughs> determined. I'm going to do my February wrap-up. And you're just going to hang out with me, aren't you? Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay, so let's see how well I do this. I'm not given much room. I think this would be better. What do you think? That's better, huh? Now you're quiet. She's meowing away. Anyway, so I had a pretty good reading month in February. I, I don't actually know. One, two, three. I read seven books in February. It was a really interesting month. It was um, a month where I read and I found and discovered one of my new most favorite books of all time and one of my very much so most disliked books of all time. And they were back to back, so that was an adventure. So let's just dive right in. The first book that I read, I'd started at the end of January and I finished in February, and that is Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. Uh, this book I gave four stars to. I found the first half to be really slow, but I loved the second half and I love the pace of it. So I'm excited to read more of her work, and I am hoping that it's more the speed and I don't know way of the second half of the book so yeah by the way for all of these books minus the last one I do have an individual review for each of them so I'm gonna kind of just be here's my quick thoughts and I'll link all of my reviews down below so if you want to go and see them for each one and see me go into more depth you can so yeah that is Rebecca the next book that I read is Rover Random by J.R.R. Tolkien. This is the first work of Tolkien's I've read, which meant a lot to me. I gave it four and a half stars. I realized for me between four and five stars isn't like the quality of writing, it's how it emotionally hits me, is what I've discovered. Um, <laughs> uh, so, I don't know, four and a half, it wasn't quite a five star, but it was so good, and I can't wait to read it to my kids. Like, I already feel nostalgic about it, so I highly recommend Rover Random. I love it, love it, love it. The next book is that one that was the least favorite, and that is I Was Anastasia by Ariel Lawhen. This one I had such high hopes for. This one was on my TBR for a long time, and it really disappointed me. I go into a whole rant review about it. I gave it two stars. To be honest, what I guess to summarize what I could say is the things that I absolutely couldn't stand, there was decisions made that I don't feel were necessary at all, um, and I disagreed with decisions that were made, and had they happened any earlier in the book, I would have DNF'd it. So I did like the style of writing, um, the one of the timelines I was really invested in, and that's what I thought the whole book was about. But the other timeline I couldn't keep up with, I found it really confusing, and then like I said, stuff happened at the end. So it just, it was not it for me, and it was really, really upsetting. So that was two stars. Then, the next one is like now one of my all-time favorite books ever, and that is Ariadne by Jennifer Saint, and this comes out April 29th. This is her debut novel. I love this book. I've literally mentioned it every time that I possibly can. Um, you know I love the book when I literally did a whole makeup and dress up situation for the review. It is a retelling of Theseus and the Minotaur but it goes beyond that and it's Ariadne's story and it follows her through her life and it finally gives her a voice. So it's a heart-wrenching, beautiful, feminist, blah, ugh, novel. Um, so please read it and if you're intrigued definitely please watch my review. I had so much fun making it and there's a vlog about it and yeah it, it was just a party and uh, I'm just so in love with this book. So 
yeah, Ariadne. Okay, if you hear some weird munching, scraping sounds, Kara's decided to give dry food another go. Um, <laughs> but she's clever. She's proved to me she can drink and eat with the cone on, so I don't need to take it off for eating times. Had she known, she probably would have faked it. But anyway, the next book I read was A Thousand Ships by Natalie Haynes. This is a retelling of the Iliad of the Trojan War from the women's perspectives. But the thing I love the most about this book is it's not... <laughs> I don't know, it's not that it's ju not just one woman's perspective, because that's still amazing and can be done really, really well, but she's just so inclusive with it, like you literally got every perspective and point of view possible, and I love that, like you see the Trojan women, the Greek women, the deities, Mother Earth, like you literally see every perspective, and it's so clear and concise how she does it, like the names of the chapters tell you who is talking. And it, at the beginning, has like a character list and who they are and where they're from and how they relate to it and everything like that. So I gave this four stars. I listened along with the audiobook, which I highly recommend. She narrates it herself. Um, but yeah, I adored this one. And it it was so informative. It was really, it flowed beautifully. And yeah, it, it, gave, me, <laughs> it gave me emotions, that's for sure. So I really highly recommend this. Now, sticking on my <laughs> Greek myth retelling spree. The next that I read was The Silence of the Girls. Now this one I had extremely mixed emotions about. I really liked the writing style. I liked how Pat put the story together and made it flow. I, I genuinely, I really liked majority of it and I was involved and invested in the story. However, there was foul language which going into the story I was not aware of that. Um, and I probably wouldn't have read it if I'd known that was the case. It just I found it really jarring. I didn't think it was necessary. I didn't think it added anything. And I just personally, that's not my to my taste. So it definitely, you know, lowered my opinion of it. Um, but it was really a mixed feeling because the rest of the book was absolutely fantastic. Just the swearing and it was quite often in quite a crass, sexual, grotesque way. I just didn't appreciate it. So unfortunately, that happens um but that's why I have mixed reviews so this one gave got three stars from me and then the last one that I read oof you just bonked right into that stack of books <laughs> yeah you got like no peripheral vision right now do you kid um the last book that I read I didn't do a review on because I knew I'd be filming this right away so I kind of figured there wasn't a point um, but that is Caligula by Simon Turney. I gave this book four stars. All in all, I really quite liked it. It's a retelling of Caligula, the Roman emperor, from his youngest sister, Lavilla's point of view. So she's retelling her story and her brother's story and her brother's story through her own eyes, pretty much. And it's just, oh, it was so good. It was so well done. I've had this on my TBR for years. And I, like, I loved it. You're distracting me. That's okay. You're worth every distraction. Yeah. Okay, so basically, I really, really enjoyed this story. I thought it was fantastically written. It read like a movie. And I feel ridiculous saying that because essentially, like, books are movies, you know, playing out in your head. But genuinely, it read like a movie. Like, I felt like I could see it on a screen exactly like it was put down and I would be captivated the whole entire time. Like, it was just, it was so captivating. And... The amount of trauma that this family goes through, the amount of just, oh my goodness, betrayals, and you just, it really shows you what trauma and betrayal and broken hearts, how they affect a person and how many power hungry and just what levels those people will stoop to, um, to get to their goals, and then you see what that, what kind of mental effect that has on a person and how that alters them as a person. So you see Caligula as this extremely caring, loving, protective brother turning into this killing machine emperor. And 
you see all the steps and you don't wonder why. You don't wonder why. So I thought this was fantastic. It's the first book in the Damned Emperors series. There's another one. Simon published in I think 2019. So I'm going to be trying to get my hands on that. I really enjoyed it and I highly recommend it. So yeah, those are the books I read in February. Um, I ran out of Greek myth retellings, so that's why I stepped into the Roman, because, you know, it's a hop, skip, jump kind of thing. Uh, but if you have any recommendations based off what I've read and loved, please let me know. I'm always looking for recommendations. What was your favorite book in February? What was your least favorite book in February? And how was your month? If you want to like, comment, and subscribe, I'd love to chat with you. It would be great. And until then, I'll see you in my next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.